Hello guys. Uh, just a little project. Um, I always like to do a little tinker and a little work on my motorcycles. I have my wife's Harley. Just got a little Sportster. Did the rear master cylinder on that the other day. Did a really nifty uh, starter, manual starter button on the solenoid, which is pretty nice. American made. It was pretty pretty solid very nice don't if you have a click click and trying to start it through the through the starter button guess what push that starts every time well today I uh, got a package from Spain Matter of fact went from Spain to France from France to to I think Philadelphia Philadelphia went to Tennessee then from Tennessee, it came to Fort Lauderdale. So what I got was uh, something I've always been looking forward to. Um, a custom seat. But I always wanted one of those really hugging uh, track racer or cafe racer seats. I mean, the seat that comes with my bike isn't bad. It's a Truxton R, so uh, it looks pretty nice. Um, pretty comfortable um, depending there's certain areas that aren't comfortable um, but in this case I got a seat from this company called Tamarit motorcycles um, saw a review online on YouTube I'll send you the link to it uh, a gentleman uh, sound British um, sounded from the UK could be wrong sorry if I'm wrong but uh, did a really good um, write up on uh, on that seat, and uh, he had a or has a a twin, a Bonneville twin. I think a T120, I believe. So from his uh, recommendation, went on their website, see what they had. Sure enough, there was a Thruxnar seat there, and looked exactly like what I wanted. Um, just the whole, pretty much back half body you know not just a back cow but you know the whole piece painted uh, body color and um, ironically I think they catered towards stock configuration because the seat you could either get it in black or or tan the dark tan um, which would match with the belt that's on a gas tank for the Thruxtons so uh, I got a a um, a silver one, Truxton R, with the fairing. I know it's one of those love or hate things with the fairing, but I like it. I wanted it with it, so I'm happy with it. And uh, did a few things here and there with the bike. Uh, got some Predator Pro exhaust. It's got the Rizoma mirrors, Rizoma markers, tail tidy, um, British Customs uh, tail light, which I could give them props because uh, there was an issue with them in regards to the diodes. And I uh, would come up with the check engine light. And I called them up and uh, they said, no problem, give me your address and we'll send you a new one. And they sent me a new one with the fix in place so it was just bolt in plug and play and i uh, never had the check engine light on again unless it first starts up which is normal all right well without further ado let's uh give you a peek at uh my silver cyclops let me see okay so there we go um See if I can flip this. Nope, won't let me flip, huh? That's interesting. Anyway, let's uh, do it this way then. So there's uh, there's the silver cyclops. As you can see, that's the ch seat. That isn't called the chair. Um, looks really nice, well proportioned. Um, looks way more aggressive than the factory seat um, it's really nice uh, 
you see, I got the custom or the optional leather strap, the holes in the stainless steel. Uh, here's the Rizomas. You can see them. Got the Rizoma mirrors. And uh, we'll come around here. Sorry if the camera's right now, but I can't flip it over for whatever reason. There's side profile. Looks really nice. Really, really nice. And the tail tidy. And uh, more Rizoma mirrors there. Little side views. So that's the seat. That's the bike. Um, hope you like.